بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ تھرٹی تھرڈ لیسن فہم المسمو انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف وٹ یو ہیئر اتدریب الاول فسٹ ایکسرسائز اس تم لسن سما دا الرقم فلم مربائل مناسب دین پٹ دا نمبر in the appropriate box so here you will listen to the video so first you will open google classroom once google classroom is open you will go to you can also open it on your mobile but on mobile you need to install the app for google classroom so here you will go to google classroom or arabia to be nayadik then you will click on classwork then you will go to homework number 10 you will click on view assignment and here you will see the videos so you need to play the first video الوحدة الرابعة الحياة اليومية الدرس الثالث والثلاثون ثانيا فهم المسموع التدريب الاول استمع ثم ضع الرقم في المربع المناسب واحد يقرأ القرآن في الغرفة So here he said Yakra ul Qur'ana fil Urfa It is Jim picture So this means you will write one on Jim So here you will write Wahid like this Then you will listen to the next one Ithnan Tadhabu ila al madrasati bil hafila Here he said Tazhabu ilal madrasa bil hafila So this means you will write Isnan on this picture Thalatha Taknusu ghurfata nawm Taknusu ghurfata nawm So here we see Taknusu ghurfata nawm So you will write Salasa here In this way you just write the numbers here okay nothing else for you then you will go to the next question again he is asking you to listen and put the number in the appropriate box so again you will open the next video in google classroom this video you will play it and then you will choose the right answer التدريب الثاني استمع ثم ضع الرقم في المربع المناسب واحد ماذا تفعلين يوم العطلة أغسل الملابس وماذا تفعلين أنت أغسل الأطباق So here you see two ladies are talking one is saying she washes the clothes on holiday and other say she washes the plates on holiday so this means this is Jim so here on Jim you will write Wahid then you will listen to the next dialogue Ithnan Mata tazhabu ila albayt Adhabu fi saak al rabi'ah هل تذهب بالحافلة؟ نعم أذهب بالحافلة So here he says that he goes by bus So this means it is ba So you will write Isnan on ba In this way you will do this question as well Then again he is asking you to listen to the dialogue But this time you will put a check mark in the appropriate box So you have three options 
and you will put the check mark on the right option again you will open google classroom third video التدريب الثالث استمع الى الحوار ثم ضع علامة صحيح في المربع المناسب واحد متى تستيقظ استيقظ الساعة الرابعة صباحا so here he said الساعة الرابعة so this mean this mean you will put a check mark on ba so here you will put a check mark on ba next اثناء ماذا تفعل في الصباح اقرا كتابا here he said اقرا كتابا so this mean this is hamza so you will put check mark on hamza in this way you will do this question then istamil as-sawal summa da'ir rakma fil murabba' al-munasib listen to the question then put the number in the appropriate box so again we need to play the video which is available on google classroom fourth video التدريب الرابع استمع الى السؤال ثم ضع الرقم في المربع المناسب واحد متى تستيقظ اثنان so in the first question he said متى تستيقظ so in this time is mentioned in this picture so i think we better choose this option as g we can also choose dal i think but let's for the time being i will choose g option after listening all the question you can change your answer if you see that dal is the right option ماذا تفعلين so here maza tafalin what are you doing so what are you doing is in this ha picture for female so you will write isnan here in the first one we will write wahid and in the second one we will write isnan you need to write numbers instead of check mark and then you will listen to the next question ثلاثة أين تصلي الجمعة؟ أين تصلي الجمعة؟ So where do you pray Juma? In the wow picture we see a mosque, so we better put three on wow. So in this way you will put numbers here. Then we have Al Kalam. At the end of the level. Tabadalil hiwara ma zamili ka kama film saal exchange the dialogue with your colleague like in the example Aina tu sallil juma where do you pray the juma Usalli fil masjid al kabir I pray in the big mosque Wa aina tu salli ant and where do you pray Usalli fil masjid al kabir aidan I also pray in the big mosque so in this way now you need to close the example hide the example you will hide the example and if you forget the sentence then you can write the translation of this sentence okay but don't write the arabic don't look at the arabic you need to say it yourself first question is where do you pray and this then he will ask the same question like alice ask Aina tu sallil fajr. Where do you pray fajr? Then Um Ahmad will reply, Usallil fajra fi masjidi Umar. Ahmad will again ah Ahmad will ask this time, Wa aina tu sallil anta. This time Ali will reply, 
anna usalli fil fi masjidi umar aidan okay now let's suppose ali ask the question aina tusalli zuhur where do you pray the zuhur umar will reply without looking at the example usalli fi masjidi bilal wa aina tusalli anta ali will reply usalli fi masjidi bilal aidan then ali will ask aina tusalli asr where do you pray asr umar will reply usalli fi masjidi usman wa aina tusalli ant ali will say usalli fi masjidi usman aidan in this way you need to practice this without looking at the example then atadrib usani ajiban nil asilat latiya mustainan bisur answer the questions making use of the pictures in the picture you see a boy is reading holy quran so the question is maza yafalu ahmad what is ahmad doing the answer will be ahmadu yakra ul quran ahmad is reading quran maza tafalu ul bint what is the girl doing she is sweeping so you will say al bintu taknu sul ghurfa the girl is sweeping the room maza yafalu rajul what is the man doing ar rajulu yusalli sala the man is praying as salat al fajr ar rajulu yusalli salat al fajr then at tadrib salis hati jumlan kama fil misal bring sentences like in the example astai kizu mubakkira nai wake up early then astai kizu mutaakhira nai wake up late then you will just say astai kizu saat sabia i wake up at 7 o'clock astai kizu saat al khamis i wake up at 5 o'clock and remember in all exercises you need to practice without looking at the example if you look at the example then it will not benefit you so you need to hide the example and after hiding the example you must practice it verbally orally with loud sound then it will benefit you, inshallah akmil al hiwar complete the dialogue here answers are written you need to make the question the answer is astai kizu in dal fajr i wake up at fajr so this mean the first person has asked him when do you wake up so for that you will say in arabic mata tastai kizu when do you wake up here he has said usalli al fajr fi al masjid i pray the fajr in the mosque so this mean the first person has asked where do you pray the fajr usalli al fajr fi al masjid i pray the fajr in the mosque then the give me a minute someone is calling me okay then the person has answered la la ana mu baad al fajr no i don't sleep after fajr in the answer you see two la this mean the question has hal whenever you see an extra la then this mean there is a the word hal in the question and la na mu baad al fajr i don't sleep after fajr so this mean he is asking do you sleep after fajr hal tanamu baad al fajr then of course he will ask him what do you do after fajr maza taf'alu baad al fajr and he will say i read quran and stuff like this you complete like this you can skip this exercise then you need to answer this question exercise according to yourself and note one thing all these questions are written for male 
mata tasday ki zoom aina tusalli hal tanamu if you are a female what will you do you need to make them feminine so you just put a cross mark on this word and you will write here tasday ki zina tasday ki zina so in this way you write it now you will answer the question according to yourself similarly here you are female so you write to salina after that you will answer then you will say tana mina then you will answer taf alina taknusina tazhabina tastaykizina taf alina to salina to shahidina in this way after changing them you will answer them according to yourself mata tastaykizu when do you wake up astaykizu in the fajr aina tusallil fajr where do you pray fajr usallil fajra fil masjid in case you are female with the question will be hal tanamina baad as salah do you sleep after salah la la anamu baad as salah similarly if you are asking to a female you will say ma za tafalina baad as salah the female will reply akraul qurana baad as salah in this way you write the answers here then we have reading you can just skip this one now we have these sentences here so here he is asking you to join the sentence with the appropriate picture so yazhabu ila al bayt bil hafila he goes to the house by bus so this mean in two pictures we see bus for the time being i will join it with the first one yakraul quran fi ghurfat an nawm he reads the quran in bedroom so in gym he is reading quran yazhabu ila al madrasati as saat as samina he goes to school at 8 o'clock in dal we see 8 o'clock so i have joined them in this way you will join them then he is asking you to join the question with the answer mata tastaykizu when do you wake up astaykizu in the fajr i wake up at fajr aina tusalli al juma where do you pray juma usalli al juma fi al masjid al kabir i pray juma in the big mosque so in this way you will do it at tadrib al khamis ikra al fikra summa jib read the paragraph then answer So here, Usratu Ahmad ala tanamu baad sala yom al utla. Family of Ahmad does not sleep after sala on holiday. Taha yaknu sugur fatal julus. Taha sweeps the living room. Wa Fatima taknu sugur fatal noom and Fatima sweeps the bedroom. Wa Ahmadu yaksilu al malabis and Ahmad washes the clothes. Wa Latifa takwil malabis. and latifa iron the clothes wait a second wal jandatu itaghsilu latbaq and grandmother washes the plates wal jandu yaqra al quran and the grandfather reads the quran so the questions are written here you will write their answers according to the paragraph <coughs> التدريب السادس اقرا الفكره ثم اجيب ريد ذا باراجراف ذا انسر يستيقظ طاهر عند الفجر طاهر ويكس اب ات فجر ويتوضا في البيت اند هي ميكس وضوء ات هوم ويذهب الى المسجد اند هي جوز تو ذا موسك يصلي طاهر الفجر في المسجد طاهر بريز ذا فجر ان ذا موسك Tahir yakra ul Quran Tahir reads the Quran wala yanamu baad as salah and he does not read salah uh, he does not sleep after salah mata yastaykizu tahir when does tahir wake up so the answer is yastaykizu tahir in the fajr tahir wakes up at fajr aina yazhabu where he goes yazhabu ila al masjid he goes to the mosque hal yanamu baad as salah 
does he sleeps after salah la la yanam bad salah because of hal we will use two la one la is for this hal and the other la is for the negative part so you need two la here then you have the writing practice chapter so you need to pass your pen on these just like this for the writing practice here when you write you need to remember one thing that this part of scene the three teeths of scene are touching the line but they are not below line but this part of scene is below the line same thing for sheen the three teeths of sheen will touch the line but they will not go below the line and the rest part will go below the line as well then murra bi kalami kala kalima he is again asking you to pass your pen on these words for writing practice and yet then you will write them same thing seen seen hamza kaf noon seen will touch the line but they will not go below the line and this part of scene will go below the line in masjid all letters will touch the line and they will not go below the line only dot of g will be below the line in firash fa will touch the line ra will go below the line sheen teeth will touch the line like this <coughs> same thing with the shakka they will touch the line but they will not go below the line again you need to pass your pen on these for writing practice you can skip this one here we completed the unit number 4 now you need to open the vocabulary of unit 4 so this is the vocabulary of unit number 4 you need to memorize the meaning of all these words and then you will write their meanings on your notebook without looking at anything <coughs> the most important thing in learning arabic is the vocabulary so you must memorize all this vocabulary of unit 4 which you have already studied in this unit <clears throat> then you have a question paper and this question is paper is made from unit 3 and unit 4 he is asking you to join the thing with the place where you find it or where it is found so the thing first thing is found oven oven is found in kitchen so you join it with jim sarir bed is found in bedroom urfat un naum arika is found in living room so you will say urfat un julus in this way you will join them adif al kalimataini ila kulli majmua add two words to each group asas mean furniture one example is mirra mirror other example is sofa bed curtain you will write these things here adad un tartibi a ordinal number ordinal numbers are first second third fourth fifth so you write any of these two here afal mean verbs you write two verbs here like he is reading he is sleeping he is running he is swimming you need to write two verbs here adad mean number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you need to write any of two here here is asking you to put a uh, x mark on the different words so here tabib mudarris muhandis all these are human beings but sitara is not so you put x mark on sitara yaksilu yanamu yakwi sahifa yaksilu yanamu yakwi these three are verbs but sahifa is not a verb al awwal ar rabi wahid salis al awwal ar rabi as salis ad adad ut tartibiya ordinal numbers but wahid is not ordinal number it is simple number 
sa masjid madrasa musalla so here sa masjid musalla musalla masjid and sa okay masjid madrasa and musalla these three are uh, some buildings you can say but sa is not a building so sa in this way you will do it then grammatical structure silbaina juzil jumla join the two parts of the sentence yaksilu he washes what does he washes yaksilul malabisa wal atwaq he washes the clothes and plate yushahidu he watches what does he watches yushahidu tilfaz he watches the television yazhabu ila al madrasa he goes to the school yaknusul ghurfa he sweeps the room in this way you will do it Akmil biwadil kalimat is sahiya mimma bain al kausain complete by putting the correct word in the two brackets. Fishakati albao wora from three to ten we use plural and madud. That's why I am using wora here. Come with the word come we always use singular mansub word. So hamaman is singular and mansub so I will use that word here. This hamam is also singular, but the problem is it is majroor. With kam, we always use mansu word. Mata atas habu ilal bait ilal madrasa. In this way, you will choose the correct option here. Then you will read the paragraph and you will put tick or cross here. Here, alhamdulillah, we completed this question paper as well. Next time, inshallah, we will start al wahdatul khamisa. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the WhatsApp, on WhatsApp or on the in the comments. Ma salama.